Hey everybody, welcome back to the Electric Supercar Channel. This week, if everything goes well, we're gonna get this car moving. So let's get into it. One other thing I'm gonna tackle is, I got several comments on the batteries and the securement um, for these ones behind the seats. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna leave one. I feel like uh, having one there with all that support is good. So I'll put one behind each seat, but then the other two are going to go back back there. So it'll move the center of gravity just a little bit back. Um, but um, I want to listen to others that have uh, good advice, good opinions. So I'm going to go ahead and move that top one over here. And so those two plus the four in front will be pack one. And then those four and then the two I'm going to put back there will be pack two. All right, so moving the battery means we gotta change up the BMS cabling, gotta lengthen it over here. So all that splicing I did for for some of them, I've gotta redo now for the, just this one battery. So not quite as bad, but yeah. I got all the BMS wires uh, reconnected and uh, got a cable here made for to connect those battery modules. Um, the only thing is I want to put the cable kind of back behind here and this again was kind of a temporary high voltage box just to make sure everything fit and that things worked and we liked it and so I've got a more permanent one made and uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take take this one out So because again I don't want to have a cable go over and then not be able to get it out so I think now's the time to go ahead and replace everything. All right, it is out. So um, that's the old, this is the new. Um, my plan with this guy is, I'm just gonna put four holes here for the mounting holes. And beyond that, I think I'm gonna put, uh, I'll put just probably a piece of plastic or something on the bottom, and bolt that down as well, um, and bolt all the uh, things to that. And then I've got a cover, I've got my uh, pass-through spots. So we'll see how it all shapes out. All right, I got the uh, bottom here, the plastic, the plastic uh, cut out. So I will go ahead and uh, figure out where I want all my holes, um, threads, things like that. Uh, I'll go ahead and drill and tap and mount everything and then uh, put it back in the car. All right, uh, this guy's kind of put all back together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop it into the um, high voltage box there and then bolt it in the car. I have the high voltage box kind of all put back together. All the wires reconnected and 
Uh, before I put the top on, so I gotta do all the uh, connections to the rest of the car, try it out, and then if everything looks good, put the top on and go from there. Okay, high voltage box is put back together. Um, also have the uh, battery modules hooked up here. Again, this was how they'll be. I'll just have one on each side. Um, the uh, plates to kind of hold them down. Uh, I need to put those on, but I'll probably first uh, cut those screws shorter. But uh, yeah, pretty pleased that we were able to unwire everything and rewire everything and have things working. So good for me. All right, these are the uh, call them the top, the holders that I use for the battery modules behind the seats. And these tabs, those two tabs, uh, they're kind of offset because this one was first designed to go over the battery module itself. Um, now it's going to be going over the cooling plate. And the problem there is so the battery module had a plug coming out in the middle, so that's why it's kind of offset. Now the cooling plate has two, you know, inlet and outlet. And so, anyways. That messes up one of them, so I'm gonna have to grind it off and re-weld. So we'll get up working on that. All right, I uh, put the top on, and uh, I fabricated the, uh, or adjusted my fabrication for the tops here. So they're about ready to put on. Again, I need to cut all the screws shorter. We'll do that quickly and get things mounted. All right, so. I've been successfully able to uh, essentially take that top battery, move it over here, had to modify the brackets a little bit, uh, cut those long uh, bolts or threads down, and bolted uh, both of them on. So at this point, batteries are secure. Um, so those two go to the front battery pack. I got four there, and then I need to get uh, fabricated uh, place for two more. Um, right now, I am charging. So I'm getting this all ready for the first drive. All right, finally got the front wheels on. Got some uh, lug bolts that fit. Um, the problem was the uh, diameter of a normal lug bolt was too big. So these are actually kind of the, anyways, like a custom one, spline drive. So it can fit. But we got them on now. So. We're gonna finish charging and drop the front on the ground and I think we'll be ready to take it out. All right, front wheels are officially mounted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, jack in place, take it off the jack stands and lower it. And that'll be the first time we're on all four wheels. All right, there it is, sitting on all four wheels. Um, so I'm pretty anxious to get it out and uh, try it on the road. It does look to me like, um, if anything, it's pitching up a little bit. So again, I set this one as low as it could go. So I, I, I'm, I won't do this right now, but uh, I need to level it out just a little bit so it can be even with the front. Okay, I am trying to just set things before we do our first drive. So uh, the max power, this is as high as it goes, so we're gonna go like half. And um, max regen, it goes from 100 or from 99 down, so I'm going half there as well. And then uh, we'll see kind of how things feel. The speed scaler, again, we won't know until we start driving. Fan temp, that's fine, 35 Celsius. Um, the accelerated G offset, we'll have to see again about wheel spin and things like that. So we'll go ahead and save and uh, get ready to go. All right, this is the other screen. So I've selected sport as opposed to maximum, rear motor and traction control normal. So we will save all these and get ready to go. Okay, so we were able to uh, get the front tires mounted. We were uh, able to move the battery module. 
and uh, get that high voltage box kind of cleaned up in the final version and drop the car on the ground, got the settings all set, so it's time for that first drive. I am going to make that another video, so tune in. See you next week.